Okay, ladies, we are going to land this plane today on this whole getting real video series. Now, the series has been about revealing the real you throughout every step of your business building process by first connecting with yourself and then connecting with others. So if you've been taking some of this information to heart, I'm really hoping that you're seeing a difference in the way you're having conversations and how you're showing up in your business. So the last step is to create a plan on how you're going to grow your business in a way that fits you perfectly. I remember when I was a little girl, I would go into my mom's closet and I would pull out her high heels just to walk around and pretend to be a big girl, a pretty girl like my mom. Did you do that? <laughs> or did you have other ways that you kind of escaped into your imagination? to become something that you hoped to be in the future. When I put on my mom's high heels on my tiny little feet, and then I tried to walk around in front of the mirror, I would wobble. My, my ankles weren't strong and I, I would stumble and I'd kind of shuffle in them, right? I didn't have the balance to walk in them. And now in looking back, I probably looked a little bit silly, but in my head, I had this dream that those shoes fit me perfectly and I was going to become like a different person when I was wearing them. So that's kind of like your business plan. You have this vision of who you want to become and what you want your business to look like. Even though you're not quite there yet, you're willing to try on different things just to see what fits. But there are two things that I really want you to keep in mind when you're visualizing where you want to go with your business and how you're going to get there. The first thing is that it is okay to try on lots of different things to see what's going to be the right fit for you, but you do have to be careful and don't do it in a haphazard kind of skittish way. You have to be intentional about what you're going to try on so that you can move one step closer each time to finding what is the perfect fit for you, what is going to work for you. When I work with women business owners to help them develop their growth strategies, what I find more often than not is that they have kind of a vague idea of how they're going to get to the goal right? They've set a goal, but they really don't have a solid plan in place. And what happens is they're trying on a lot of different things and then they get discouraged and then they get overwhelmed and then they don't know what's the next thing to do. And that is such a hard place to be in. Now, the second thing to keep in mind is to be cautious about having a plan that isn't yours. It's like borrowing your mom's heels out of her closet, right? You can see that there's something out there. It's working for someone else or it's being hyped by an expert who told you that this is the way to go and you adopt it as your own. I see this happening a lot with the coaching school that I was associated with that I love and they have a great program for how to launch your coaching practice. It was templatized. And it, I mean, step by step, exactly what to do and pretty much what to say. And they would almost guarantee you that if you follow this plan, you will have a successful business, right? I mean, that sounds awesome. And lots of women tried it. And don't get me wrong. You know, there's some people that did try it and did well, but some of the women just didn't feel like they could own it. They tried it on. They didn't feel like themselves. They couldn't do what they were told to do and they weren't getting results. It just didn't feel like them. So if I had to sum it up, here's what I believe to be important. You have to have a solid plan. You can't go forward without a plan, but it's got to be the one that not only fits who you are now, but it also fits the vision of who you want to become in the future. As a business coach, I believe that this is one of the things I bring to my clients that makes the biggest difference in their success. When we start working together, we literally sit down, roll up our sleeves and spend hours and hours together. 
We start with the end in mind by setting realistic revenue goals, you know, ones that are achievable, still though, ones that do represent a good stretch, but goals that won't overwhelm them or discourage them along the way. Then we work backwards from there and we spend time fine tuning what it is that they're offering in their programs. And we look at their pricing and we look at everything to make sure there are no holes in the plan at all. Once we have that foundation in place, then it's time to talk about how many people do you need to connect with to reach your goals, right? And then we get right down to what are the ways that you can engage with your people so you can nurture the relationship and see a clear path to success, doing it your way, doing it in a way that's comfortable for you. It's such a collaborative process. And at the end, there's something very tangible that they can follow with confidence. I just love seeing the relief on their faces. One of the ladies said to me at the end of our strategy session, she said, I have been vacillating for so long. I have not had a clear direction to go. And it felt like I had like somebody else's glasses on. The vision was fussy. I couldn't see clearly. And now that I have this plan, it's crystal clear what I have to do and where I'm heading. And that's really comforting to have that. And that's what a great business plan will be for you as well. It's not trying on somebody else's shoes and you don't have to have on somebody else's glasses. You will have a plan that fits you and in the timeline that you can work with. And that's what makes you feel confident in the direction you're heading. I really hope that you've enjoyed the series. My goal in doing it was just to give you a glimpse of who I am as a coach and how I support my women in their quest to build really great businesses. I'm such a lucky lady. Everything that I've done in my life has equipped me to support the women in the Success Collaborative. If you have any interest at all in coming and joining us, I would just be honored to have you. Just reach out and let's talk about it. See if it's a good fit for you. Until then, you take care of yourself and go get them. Come on, get it done. You can do it. I trust you. Take care.